Hello guys and welcome to another Ford Racing 3 episode. This is episode, I think, 7? I'm not entirely sure though, but yeah, this is... It's time now for the Global Gears or Foc Focus versus GT. But I think I will go... Yeah. I will go with the Global Gears. Although I have the gears disabled, I'm driving automatic. Now, um... Well, this looks interesting. I think Mountain Drive, for example, is off-road, while the Lost Village... Oh no, 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 ignore what I just said. It's all um, not off-road, um, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. And uh, we got five tracks again. Well, let's just see. Last time I drove this car, the Racing Puma, which was okay. This one looks alright as well. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm kind of... They do have the same... Uh, statistics. I somehow want to drive this car though. It looks cool. Um, yeah, just take the white one this time with the red stripe. It's kind of sporty. This car has a good acceleration, that's that's always a great thing to have. Now, race type boost on the racetrack, of course. Ah. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> That car in front is always so fast on medium. It drives me insane. <laughs> insane. Um, but we should be alright. Did just someone crash into me? I think this guy did. Yes. Oh, there's. <laughs> They're bullying, bullying me. That's not nice. them. Alright. Yeah, that's the spirit. Mm -hmm. mm. oh. Okay, that was not intended. Not exactly, at least. Um. Ooh! Crazy! This car is dead. Yikes! I hate it when they do that. I hate it when they come from behind and just oh, drive right into you. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Alright. Position 5 of 6. Okay, position 5 or 6, that's looking much better. The first car is like really fast and way ahead of everyone else. Okay, let's just like, activate this final boost for this round. For this lap, I mean. Oh, come on. Oh man, didn't see that. Oh well. Uh, I don't 
really like the way I drive at the moment. You can probably tell. Um, So far, okay. Let me just try to get this right. Uh, oh, well, that was a surprise. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen, but I won't complain. <laughs> nice. Next round. This is Mountain Drive. Elimination. Okay. Okay, super start. That's what I like to hear. Nice. And yeah. Once again, the red car in the front is way ahead of the group. But, no. Well, not that much. <laughs> Well, okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Although he's still right behind me. Oop. And jump! Whee! 25 meters. Looking good. Very good. Okay. Now. Mm hmm. That's the way I want it. I have the feeling that there are cars like right, okay, behind me and beside me. Some of them will be eliminated. Oh, see how close the group was this time. That's interesting. So I have to be more careful this time. I was in danger of giving up my good position for a short time at least. Alright. What a right you. Okay. Jump. But I'm okay. Still quite a bit away from all the other the other cars, which is nice. Although that red car is really getting on my nerves. It is also very fast. Oh. Okay. Eliminated two other cars, the Falcon XRB and something else. And I'm stuck with a Thunderbird from 2003. Um yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> I think last time in the last episode was also always a Thunderbird car that used to ruin my day. Um, but yeah. In the end, I always managed to win all the competitions, which was nice. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. What? What is this? I always drive into the the border here and the, is it the railing, the fence, whatever. Kind of annoying. I think it's the way I um, hit the ground. I don't know. Perhaps my what would that be? Uh, don't ask me. I think my left 
side touches the ground first, so it sort of uh, throws me into the um, fence. Okay, first, once again, that's nice. Alright, this gives me 20 points, and yes, the Thunderbird is on position number 2. Next round. This is the Lost Village. Oh no, don't like this track. And it's Boost. Boost is fun. Alright, super start. Once more, starting to get a feel about it, how you have to... Mm. Oh, come on, please, this... Are you kidding me? <laughs> right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Drove right into him. So I'm still not quite sure when I want to activate my boost because the track is sort of curvy. <laughs> yeah, right now, for example, would be a good moment. in front of me had the same idea. I suppose this is a good a good time to activate the boost. And then shortly I think before we reach the goal I want to activate my second boost. Um, because there the racetrack is pretty straightforward. I think I managed to, yes. Cut in their way to make them lose some of their speed, which is nice. So I'm leading the group now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang it. Right. Oh no. But I have the feeling that I will be able to catch up with them anytime soon. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Position number one again. Uh, what am I doing? But okay, we're still in lap 2 of 3, so I have a great chance of... Oh god! I hate it when driving cars drive into you. But I'm guessing I'm not the only one who doesn't like that. Not in real life, not in a game. <laughs> it's never fun. But driving into other cars is fun. <laughs> Just if they do it with you, it's, it's not fun. Alright. Should be good. Mm -hmm. oh, I hate this curve, it's so annoying. You only have two opportunity or well, you have two things you can actually do. You can slow down, but that's something I don't want to do. Or you can just drive right into the the, the signs. Um, which is also not the best thing to do, of course. But yeah, since you can't take damage in this game, I thought why not?
nice. 260 kilometers an hour. That's a nice speed. Wow. But I sort of have the feeling that it's not so fast. I don't know. I mean normally, like on the motorway, which we call the Autobahn, <laughs> uh, people drive uh, about, well, you are supposed to drive something about, you know, between 120 and 30 kilometers an hour, I think. I'm not sure what that is in miles, but you can go as fast as you want, at least in some parts. Um, but I think I never drove over 200 kilometers an hour. Because uh, cars usually don't handle that, well, you know, that speed. <laughs> um, I think. A normal speed for me would be about 140, which is also or already pretty nice. Um, I mean, considering in many countries you can't even drive that fast. <laughs> but it's nice. Uh, I mean, it's it's more or less. A, it's, a, it's not so safe, I suppose, and it's not good for the environment if you drive that fast. But it's just fun. It really is. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you're allowed to drive that fast, why not? <laughs> and if your car can handle it. <clears throat> but yeah, it's very cool. I think Germany is actually the, well, one of the only countries where you can drive that fast, which is kind of cool. <laughs> and I'm not sure how many accidents we have. But I think it's not too bad. I think we don't have, like, uh, I'm not sure. I have to look at the statistics. Maybe I can uh, find it out or so and tell you in the next episode or something if Germany has more accidents, more car accidents that happen on the motorway, highway, whatever. Oops, lag spike. Um, then any other country I would be surprised though. Because yeah. people tend to drive very safely, um, although they're um, driving at high speed. Um, for example, I was in France and the bus drivers in Paris or in the suburbs of Paris, they always drive very, um, I don't know how, how to say it, it's, you don't really have the um, feeling that you are in danger or something, but they do have a very fast and not, not really, yeah, a bit aggressive driving um, style. Ouch. Come on. So once I sat in the bus and it was like driving at, I don't know, it wasn't that fast, but still, it was driving and there was the bus, bus stop ahead and there was also a bus waiting for the passengers to get, get on. And I was in the second bus and he was like driving and not... Um, you know, he's, well, he was just driving a normal speed and he did such an insane break <laughs> and he stopped, I don't know, 10 centimeters <clears throat> behind that other bus. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> but uh, very good drivers, very good drivers to French, I don't know. Also, Italy is fun if you drive there, for example, Rome. <laughs> um, but something I noticed is that many cars there have like little scratches and oh, little scratches on the sides or something so yeah <laughs> they drive very risky and yeah but it's fun to drive in such a car <laughs> um, I really like it if it's yeah, a little bit adventurous so yeah, round five, the final round. I think it was just a standard race. Yeah, 
looks like it. Alright, super start. Once again. But yeah, I for example am not such a big hard driver, to be honest. I have my driver's license, but um, I rarely drive a car, which is strange. I don't even own a car, so I had to uh, take my parents' cars or my sister's car or whatever. And uh, yeah, I just I don't enjoy it that much. And since I live in a city, I make use of the public transport, which is very good here. And I also take my bike, for example, very often, because sometimes you're even faster and you don't have to worry about parking and uh, gas and everything is just a little bit easier, in my opinion. You can just um, lock it to a um, lantern or fence or whatever. And yeah, public transport is also very good, it's just, uh, it costs much if you use it a lot, but it's very fast and efficient, and so, very good network, yikes, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not that much of a driver, although I like cars, <laughs> I just don't like driving them that much, which is probably a bit strange. But well, that's just how it is. Alright. We are doing good. Well, at least. Yeah. But, uh, I would probably drive more often if I would live in the suburbs or on the countryside, in the countryside, uh, just because uh, things like public transportation might exist, but not be so good because it would just take a lot of time to get into the city or to shopping malls or whatever, and um, riding a bike. in a village or suburb or whatever, well, yeah, might work if you have to go to work or something, or to school or anything, um, but yeah. In a town it makes much sense, for example, I've been to Amsterdam, and they really had a lot of bikes. We went on a trip on one of the, um, well, they called it, well, the little channels they have for the city, and um, the guide said, that um, in the Netherlands or in Amsterdam they say that um, one third of the the canals is water, one third is mud, and the last third is uh, bicycle bicycles stacked on on top of each other. And they also have this at the main station. I think they had a very tall. Um, <clears throat> uh, the park house um, just for bicycles and it was full <laughs> so yeah, very crazy but I like the city very cool the Netherlands are a fun country not just Amsterdam or North Holland but also for example I've been to Den Haag which is also very nice um, it's totally different than um, Amsterdam, but still fun. Uh, very nice country in general. But yeah, it's very cool. So if you're visiting Europe, you should definitely, definitely check that out. And yeah. Also, something I noticed in Amsterdam, I mean, for a town with a harbor, red light district, and I don't know, some of the drugs are legal in the Netherlands. It seemed surprisingly secure and friendly and open, uh, which is very cool. I like it. I like how they manage that. I mean, you could say that they have problems and stuff, but I didn't <clears throat> at least uh, experience them or see them or something. 
very nice town, very friendly and international as well. So yeah, won this race as well, which, yeah, <laughs> brings me to the end of this episode. Global Gears final results, first place, nice. <laughs> Let's just skip that. Um, car collected, the 2003 Falcon XR8, and the color, and the 2004 Mondeo ST220. Alright, and a cup collected as well. And co competition unlocked, original races, this is going to be fun. And design concepts as well. Those two. And they're both on hard already. This one is still medium, but I haven't unlocked it yet. So yeah. Going to see you in the next episode, I suppose. Thanks for watching, guys.